crowd here at Haywood Field for Alison Felix, nine-time Olympic medalist and four-time Olympian. She wants to make it five, but there's an edge to this campaign. There's a depth to this campaign. There's another element to the story for Alison Felix. This will be her first Olympic campaign as a mother. Her family are here, her husband Kenneth, there's Kenneth, but most importantly, her daughter. There is such a story behind little Cameron, the difficulties at childbirth for both mother and daughter, and that is part of the fabric of this story, and that's what's driving Alison Felix. And she may have a decision to make this week because we expect to see her as well in the 200. The 400-200 double cannot be done at the Tokyo Olympics. The schedule will not permit it, so she may have to drop one of these events. But first, the matter of making the 400-meter team. This is Kendall Ellis. Every time she has come up for a team since she left USC, she has made it. Made both teams, 2017 and 2017. 2019 to the world championships behind her is Quinera Hayes who is also a mom of a two and a half year old son she's the only woman under 50 seconds this year I talked to her coach and he thinks she's ready to run low 49 she does that she's winning this race tonight Lena Irby will start right on the inside she had a really fast start yesterday in the semi and faded at the end. We'll see how she paces it this time. Taylor Manson also ran well. Shay Anderson in there. Kaylin Whitney on the far outside. And Wadlin Jonathus in lane five. Keep an eye on Wadlin. One of my favorite young up and coming athletes in the 400. Allison Felix in lane eight. I always say winning is a habit and she does it all the time. She's able to draw on that. She's making this team. Alison Felix begins her campaign for the fifth Olympics, running from lane eight. Son, how's that going to suit her? It could be a blessing or a curse, and right now it looks like a blessing. Alison Felix's strength, her entire career, has always been her speed. I haven't seen it shown up so much during these trials, but you see it right now, Otto. Yeah, but Quinera Hayes is very aware of the move that Alison Felix just made, and she has made a move of her own, and that's why she's in the lead right now. Kendall Ellis has already gone past Allison Felix. Top three get a ticket to Tokyo. Quinera Hayes on the turn. And Wadalyn Jonathan, who's been able to eye all of them and who has a really strong finish, is also in good position. Quinera Hayes and Wadalyn Jonathan. Here comes Allison Felix. Allison is racing her way back into the top three. Quinera Hayes gets there. Felix makes the team. A true champion. She was way back, Otto. You don't come back in the last 50 meters of a 400. I thought she was off the individual team. But like I said, when you're a champion and you know how to win, you make teams. And Allison Felix is on her fifth Olympic team in the 400. All, cred all credit to Quinera Hayes because she knew Allison was out there and Allison stormed down the back stretch and you could see Hayes say, uh-uh, I'm not letting you get away. She ran the better far turn, came off the turn with the lead and then she had to fight for it. Allison Felix actually got all the way back up to second because she caught Jonathan at the line. Jonathan and Hayes had such great last 200s, but Sonia, Allison fought to get back here. Look at her face. Lee, you mentioned it. She has an edge. She has a reason to be here. And you could just see it on her face. In the final 50 meters of the race, it looked like she was out of it. Here she is in lane eight. And Otto, off to a fantastic start. And when you're out here almost blind, when you're in lane eight with one, only one other runner to key off of, you have to do that. You have to set a blistering pace and then settle in. And that's exactly what she did. So you see Hayes and Allison Felix just under half of the race gone. Hayes hasn't given an inch. In fact, she's making up the stagger. Look at Jonathan. We're going to stop right here. Allison Felix is on the left. 
but Hayes is actually in the lead, and Jonathan has both of them in her sights. She's going to make a nice move around this turn. Look at the turn that Jonathan runs. Coach Hart always said the third hundred was the most important part of the race to position yourself for success, and Jonathan actually ran the better turn. But against what Coach Hart believes, Allison had the worst turn, but had the best finish. Incredible kudos to her for fighting that hard to get a spot on the 400 meter Olympic team. Watch the reaction here from Allison's fa uh, family. At the age of 35, she's off to the Olympics as a mom for the fifth time. <laughs> Cammy, mommy did it. She did it in spectacular style. And Quinera Hayes celebrates with her son. Isn't this a magical time? And this is what makes all the work and the training and the weights and the sacrifice worth it when your family gets to share in your victories. It might be Father's Day, but the mums are the stars of the show today. <laughs> What a beautiful, oh, what a beautiful moment. Say hi. Give her a hug, baby. Aww. Guys, we're going to Tokyo. <laughs> hey, 18, 19 years from now. Super mommies, yeah. <laughs> Those two youngsters could be on the track as well. Demetrius, Say hi. Say hi. Mommy did great. Mommy did really good. Congratulations, girl. Congrats, Quinera Hayes' son, Demetrius, meets Cameron. We made it, y'all. And Lewis, look at that. The Olympic trio, Waddle and Jonathan, Quinera Hayes, and Allison Felix. They're headed to Tokyo. Quinera, what a moment is this? Uh, what kind of moment is this for you and your son just making your way to the Olympics and being able to share with everybody? Honestly, this moment is so unreal right now. I, like, I'm still in disbelief. And to actually have my son here, you know, he was there cheering for me. And to know exactly where they were sitting just made me go even harder. Take us through that last 200 meters where you just made a move to be, seem to be just so determined to get here and have this, this opportunity. Honestly, I just said, God, I give this race to you. And I just went for it. And I was like, I'm going to fight to the end. And I'm going to give God the glory when I cross that finish line, no matter what place I came in, he was getting the glory. Demetri, did mommy do good? Say yes. The <laughs> smile says yes. Okay. Allison, I mean, just describe it. Oh, man, it has been a fight to get here. And one thing I know how to do is fight. So I just wanted to do that all the way home. Yeah, and you did that. Sonia Richards Ross paid you a great compliment. She said, You're just a person who knows how to win. And winning today was getting on this fifth team. Is that right? That is so right. <laughs> um, I appreciate that. I just want to use my experience. And man, to make the fifth one, so special. Thinking about that book that you're writing, the letter to your daughter, Cammie, uh, what, what, what words or what chapter, what, what is this, how do you put this into perspective? I mean, today I thought about all the things. I thought about us fighting in the NICU, fighting for my life, fighting to get back on this track. And I, whatever happened, I just knew all glory to the most high. Great stuff. We'll see you guys all there. And Wadlin, you're going to the Olympics too. What about this moment for you? Honestly, I'm just grateful. I feel blessed. I feel favored. And thank you, God, for allowing me to make it. It was tough, but it was a good run. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> you do, and so does everybody else. Congratulations to all three ladies heading to Tokyo in the 400. Lee? Wadlin Jonathan, she's one of seven children who moved from Haiti to Worcester, Massachusetts. And you know what? The track field, the track coach noticed her when she was playing basketball. She's now an Olympian. She's going to Tokyo with Quinera Hayes and the legend, Allison Felix. That was exhilarating. The women's 400 meter final and more Olympians established. Of course, Allison was already a four time Olympian. There's two new Olympians. And Cammy, mummy did really well. Family affair in more ways than one. Quinera Hayes' two year old son, Demetrius, celebrates too.